What's up everyone? We're finally here at the end product after our entire build in Amelia. So we're gonna be going through everything in this video, what you looked like before, what you looked like after, and why we made all the decisions that we did to get to our finished product. All right, well, let's dive right in. Even in her original state, Amelia was a beauty. I mean, on the outside. She had some sweet decals that wrapped around her and she was in great condition. On the inside, she was in great condition too, but was a little dated, which is kind of an understatement. She was straight out of 1985. While this isn't necessarily a bad thing, it just wasn't to our taste. We found the interior to be a little dark and cramped. There was a shower and a toilet that butted out a fair bit into our open space. And there was a lot of carpet. I mean, a lot of carpet. Carpet on the floor. Carpet on the wall. Carpet on the ceiling. Carpet in the cab. Carpet by the shifters. Carpet in the cabinets. Carpet on these things. On the exterior after Amelia was completed, she looked amazing. I don't care who you are, you can't deny it. On the outside of the camper shell, she got a fresh coat of paint and some new stripes. This time we decided to go with red, orange, and yellow rather than the original grayscale to kick it back to the original Toyota racing stripes. The fenders, bumpers, ladder, and the side view mirrors also got a fresh coat of paint. On the passenger side, we installed an outdoor kitchen. This is made up of a camp stove and heavy duty sliders because on hot, nice days when we're camped out with friends, it's really nice to be able to make our meals outside. We also added an eight foot awning to give a shade on sunny, hot days. On the roof, we added a 280 watt solar panel and crossbars so that we could mount our surfboards and storage box. We resealed every single window on the camper and gave the frames a fresh coat of paint. We added a rear view camera since our rear view mirror only showed us what was happening on the inside of the camper. And last, but certainly not least, Amelia got a fresh suspension, including new leaf springs, shocks, and bushings. On the inside, Amelia had an even bigger transformation. It's probably because we got rid of the carpet immediately. But really, it was because we went all the way down to the fiberglass to start fresh to make sure everything was being brought up to speed. It's a good thing we did because we found a disturbing amount of dead mice. After cleaning the inside of the camper of all the mice spirits, Amelia got new insulation over an entire interior. We replaced the carpet floors with cork. We replaced the upper cabinets with a similar design, but rebuilt them all from scratch because we wanted to extend them the full length of the camper because we got rid of the bathroom. That's right, you heard me. No bathroom. I know you think we're crazy, but seriously, I think that everybody needs something a little bit different if you're traveling in a van, an RV, a truck, a camper, a boat, what have you. For us personally, we've been traveling for the last two years in a Volkswagen van again without a bathroom and we're fine. So we decided to continue keep on keeping on without a bathroom. And besides, by getting rid of that bathroom, we gained ourselves all sorts of amazing storage space that we did not have before. So enough bathroom talk, let's move on. We rebuilt the seating area in the back to better access all the storage below. On the passenger side, we put in a two burner cook stove, sink and faucet. The drawer beneath the sink is designed to have two small trash bins to separate out our trash and recycling. On the driver's side, we have a Dometic refrigerator on some heavy duty drawer slides, and this drawer deadbolts into place to be sure it doesn't move while we're driving. Located above the refrigerator is actually our favorite drawer. We spent a lot of time designing this and organizing it to make sure it stayed nice and tidy. It holds our silverware, plates, bowls, cups, knives, and a whole lot more. The countertops in Amelia were made of Peruvian walnut. We wanted to make sure that we designed out a table surface that contrasted our bright white walls. We built an additional small table so if we had lots of people inside of Amelia that it could more easily squeeze them around our seating area. The curtains were made by a seamstress and then we hand painted each one of them. In Amelia's original interior, the bed area actually had a piece that you could remove so you could more easily access the cab. We actually ended up really disliking this because at night it would open up and limbs would get trapped down into the cab. It was weird. We opted to cap this area and install a new mattress. 
This way, we'd have a more comfortable place to sleep and have the additional added privacy of a sliding door when we were parked and camping for the night. The back seating area actually converted to a bed as well. That back bed area was actually better for hot nights because the larger windows on either side of Amelia allowed for better airflow. After Amelia's build was complete, she was completely off the grid. She got 250 amp hours of lithium batteries and a 280 watt solar panel that easily kept all of the batteries topped off. The house batteries also got charged from the alternator. We also installed recessed LED lighting onto our ceiling that were all controlled through dimmer switches. There are LED light strips on the underside of the cabinets to light up the counters as well as inside the upper cabinets to light what's inside of them. There's an inverter underneath the bench seat on the driver's side for charging laptops and running any other AC appliances. We've got a smart battery monitor so that we can keep tabs on the status of our batteries and the solar panel. Inside the cab, Amelia, continued to be mostly original. We did have some reupholstery done to the ceiling because of the permanent changes we made to the structure of the bed. But this was great because we chose a fabric that allowed us to stick our patch collection to. We also installed a modern head unit so we could listen to some fresh jams via Bluetooth on our cell phones. There's definitely a lot more that we could talk about in this video, but we mainly wanted it to be a highlight reel of what's changed from then until now. If you'd like to see the entire build, you can go back and watch all of it here on our YouTube series. To those of you who have been with us since the beginning, thank you. It's been one hell of a journey and we're happy to be here. As some of you may know, we did end up selling Amelia shortly after her completion. It's a complicated story and it's one that we will be getting into next time. So I'll see you then.